Okay. I'm leaving rural Mississippi now, heading back toward the city, south on 55, Interstate 55. Oh, excuse me. Absolutely no makeup, no nothing. Just be calm. Okay. Because when you're in Mississippi and you're out on your front porch early in the morning looking at cows, you're not exactly worried about makeup. You just throw on your t-shirt, maybe some jeans, some shorts, some flip-flops, and you call it a day. Anyway, I'm heading toward the city. And lately, I've had people asking me, hey, let's just say I've stopped explaining my van. Because I find that people who can't really imagine themselves dwelling in a van for any amount of time seem totally confused and then they look at you as if you're doing something wrong. So of course you really have to have the mindset and the desire to really do it. And I know it's just a certain type of person that has that desire. So I think I finally come to the point where I'm going to stop trying to explain it. And a lot of people say, really, why? Because I have a place in a rural area. If I really wanted to, I could get an apartment in the city. But I've decided not to because I was, I thought, well, hey, I could get my van instead and just really enjoy it and take trips and go different places and be in my van. And it's like having a little efficiency apartment around you. To me, it makes perfect sense. But apparently you have to be that type of person. So I no longer explain it because I found myself getting frustrated trying to explain to people who just simply can't understand. And another reason is I could have gotten an apartment and there are a couple of bills I wanted to just pay off. And I know a lot of people say, well, hey, if there was something you wanted to pay off, why would you finance a van? I'll tell you why. Because I could have just stayed in the rural area 24-7 and um, put even more toward paying those debts off. But if I'm going to truly be honest, I decided that I wanted to be in the city more often, but I didn't want to have to stay in a hotel and I didn't want to have to get an apartment. And while I have family that I could stay with, I didn't want to have to. So I decided to do the van because I would have been paying more for an apartment. So I got my van and it's something I've always wanted to do and I love it. So because it was within my budget, I did it. So now I get to go in the city and um, actually there are gonna be some parades coming up. So I'm going to get um, a little footage of that so you can maybe get a taste of that because I tell you for those who have never been to like Kenner, Metairie, New Orleans, Louisiana, any of those areas there's almost nothing like Mardi Gras and you just get to have a great time see the floats so I'll make sure I get a little footage of that but um back to what I was talking about so I find myself not trying to explain it anymore because people just don't understand so this way I can be in my van, really do what I've always wanted to do within reason, still pay more toward the debt I wanna pay off and still enjoy myself. And I don't know if you saw my previous video, but it's about doing what's within your budget. And this fell within my budget. And, and to me, a successful budget basically means you can enjoy life, do things that you enjoy doing. You might not be able to do everything you want to do, but you can always save for it. But to me, that's a, a successful budget, being able to enjoy some things you want to do, be able to take care of your responsibilities, and to be able to save something each month. So if you're not able to do each of those, then for instance, I would not have financed a van if I were not able to also handle all of the responsibilities I have and save at the same time. I wouldn't have done that. But think about it. If I had gone in, into an apartment, which would have cost me 
little more than the van, I would have been in the same situation. So to me, it was a no brainer. Get the van, enjoy your trips, enjoy van dwelling and have a great time. And if I ever just feel like I need a small break, I can just go to my place in the rural part of Mississippi and take a break. But I gotta tell you, when I'm indoors, I've always found myself being content with what I have. But I gotta tell you, there's nothing like the feeling of being in your van and being able to just explore and drive and see all of the great scenery. Being a veteran and having been to other countries and seeing other cultures, I kind of decided that maybe I should see more of the United States. You know, we often have destinations and places we want to go. I've done the cruises, I've done all of those things, and I've seen the great beaches, and of course I'll still do those things, but I figured I wanted to become just a little more intimate with my own country. And what better way to do it than in a van? So, because that's my true desire, and I've had it for quite a while, I decided to just do it. Because it was within my budget, and I've decided to stop explaining it. Because hey, it's your life, it's your happiness, and you know what you truly want in your heart. So you can't let what other people think or want influence every aspect of your life. Now, family will influence it in some ways because I gotta tell you, I'm a grandmother, yay! I have three beautiful grandchildren, but I mean, I love my daughter and my son, but I think they know if it weren't for my grandkids, are you kidding me? I'd be on an indefinite road trip right now. Because hey, once the kids are out of the house, and I'm currently single, so hey, it would just be a road trip, and I guess I'd be back whenever I'd be back. But because of the grandbabies, I go out and I come back in. Because I definitely want to be in their memory bank, and uh, which is where my name comes from, because they call me Gigi. And this is Gigi's Van Escape, so that's my little talk for today so hey don't try to explain it most people won't understand and even if they've known you as a semi-responsible person you'd be surprised how weird they'll look at you once they realize that you're actually thinking and then have taken the steps to dwell in a van so stop explaining it and just do it have a great day you guys